back to Havrick when I was in there. It was nearly most of it was Scousers, Blackburn, lads from Cumbria, lads from Manchester, Salford, and all them places. So top gangsters and that have been there. Not not you not your lads going there like an artist school. Brilliant deal though, because you got out and you could see each other. Everything, but it was a lot of stabbings, a lot of people getting caught up. So I was doing bartering with the phone cards, and there was a lad called Scully. I'll mention you, fucking Scully, from Liverpool, horrible cunt. Um, I helped him out, and I gave him ten cards to get a present to buy a present for the little kid he had. He said, and "Then he owed, he owed me twelve all in, so there was twelve cards. He owed me. He grasped me up for twelve cards and got me trying to get me put in the blocks. And I was dealing." Drugs with him, but it wasn't. I gave him them to lend him, but he couldn't pay me them back. But what you had to do in Havrick, you had to grasp someone up. Say you got, you were doing people used to do um, fags and stuff and do bits of tack, which is cannabis, and they'd give him like a card, like for the only get a tiny bit, have a couple of puffs off it, and that'd do him at the weekend. So they used to take that. But the only thing is with that, when you start doing that, what I, what I said to the, the the governor and the screws, I said, you're tantamizing. Tantamizing to get people on heroin, really. So, what do you mean by that, big fella? I said, Well, heroin's in your system in a, few, a day or so. Cocaine's in about five days. Cannabis is in for ages. It's in the system if you take it. So, people, I think, oh, well, if I get the, co the cannabis, I'm going to get another 30 days. I think it was used to get some like 30 days if you got caught for it. And then you get your privileges lost. So, people would have the heroin, even even lads who could have a fight now. They were having, they were having heroin on, say, a frag. I think, well, Saturday you could get a piss test, but you probably won't. So they'd have it Friday and then think, train Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday you get a piss test. Talk to your system. So people would have a little bit on a Friday, or sometimes they'd have a little bit of Friday and Saturday. And after fucking two or three fucking times or four or five times on it, then they were hooked on the heroin. Where the cannabis, you can't really get hooked on it. It's just a physical and mental thing, isn't it? Where the heroin, when you take it, once you start taking it, your body needs it. So it's like they drink drinking water uh, and, and function. You could see them on when I was in there, uh, having like that clawing on their faces and sad to see. And there was a, there was another kid in from Blackburn, nice kid. He was always telling me jokes. He, used to call, he was the one who started the big van thing off. Oh, big van, he was laughing his head off. He said, nice kid, you no, know, lovely kid. He used to get a card off me and I'd give him two, give, give me, he'd give me, I'd get two off me. I'd just say, give me, give me three back instead of four. He, he loved me, he was a lovely kid. About 25 or something year old, but he was bang on the gear. So anyway, he these fucking shit trainees, and I had another pair, but I couldn't, the screws wouldn't let me fucking give them the trainees. So anyway, his sister come up and they got him a lovely pair of trainees, about 60 quid. And anyway, I see them, I said, oh, they're fucking cement them, brilliant, brilliant, I'm look, look after yourself. And did he started doing a little bit of training, and I've got him in the gym. The next day I see him, he fucking had his, somebody took his trainees off him. Who oh, the fuck took your trainees off you? He went, oh, it doesn't matter to him. I said, seen that lad, I went, oh, you owed me, uh, you owed me two pound card, I went, yeah. There's fucking two cards, leave them a fucking loan. Give them trainees back. No, I'm not giving them, give them fucking trainees back now, I said. Give them fucking trainees back now, I said to him. Like, oh, all right, all right, bro, he shit himself out. I thought, fucking taking the liberty off the lad like that. I fucking hate bullying. And then another time I was in, there was two black lads from Manchester. Twins they were, about 22 year old. We were on the phone, waiting for the phone. You could, you're, out, you're outside. What the moment you have to be in your billet, I think, by nine o'clock, and the clock he comes round, clicks you all, and there's eight on one side. It's like they're army billets, not army, sorry, RAF billets. So you've got a passageway right down, there's eight cells that side and eight that side, but they lock the doors each side there because you're in a room, and your door, you've got your own key, but it's all bad bars on the windows, you can't get out. But the clock he comes round every hour or two to see if everyone's in, count you all. You, you, you know, you come by and say, you're a big fella, you're a big fella, I say, yeah, and everyone's like, and everyone, my, everywhere I was on there, there was 16 of us. No one went without coffee or tea or biscuits or cakes or whatever. We couldn't remember, pardon me, it didn't matter, fucking just keep it, you're on the same same place as me. And I couldn't do it with everyone, but I did it with the lads who were on there, giving for fuck all, saying, just keep it. There'd be lads like saying, what's the matter? Oh, my mum's just died, and I'm like, yeah, there's 10 cards, you know, 20 pounds of the cards. He said, oh, well, I'm going to pay you, don't have to pay me, forget about it. Um, and then another one, um, my mum's just passed away, I'm not going to do it. And, and I'd put the cards on for him. And he'd be on the phone, and I'd know he was on the phone doing it and talking. Because it was like, just the, the bit of way when you went out for your phone. So, yeah, I would see somebody lose their parent or a loved one. And me sat with 100 cards or something. But what I used to do, I used to put so many cards in every pad for the lads. Because you were allowed, I think, eight. If you had any more than eight, you got done. So I'd have five in each place. 
they were all mine. So there's like 16 with five cards in each. And they'd have maybe one or two of their own cards. So that's how I monopolised it like that. But I was made people looked after and on there and that year. But the, the kid when he really straight he took off of it, didn't like that. And then I was in with another kid. He was there from um, Cumbria, a nice kid. And he was always laughing and joking. Anyway, he went out. He only went home for a couple of days. About two days he was gone. And then we got a fucking um, told that he'd fucking died. He'd injected himself with them, do you remember Mogadon, I think they were called, the green tablets. It was either them, Tomazis or Mogadon, I don't know which one it was. And they injected it, and what it does, it congeals. That means it goes dead thick, so you inject it in your vein. It goes in there and it gets blocked. It got blocked in his leg, and he fucking died, killed him. He, he lost his life through it. And then there was other ones that did that, and they lost the legs. That's why you see them in wheelchairs. They've lost the leg by injecting in there. But they've stopped making it it's in powder form now, so they stopped doing it, so that was a good thing. But yeah, just some sad stories there what we got, but yeah, it was good. And we're looking after people. But the two lads were on the phone I was telling you about. The, the lad come in the queue. So I was third. These two black lads were well, well twins. They were they, they go next to brothers. So he pushed and he went, I'm next. I went, No, you're fucking not. Oh yeah, you won't before me, Brian. Should have I'm before these. I went, You're fucking not. They're they're next. I said, I, I, I said, They're next, not you, not me. Stand in the fucking queue. He said, Can, oh, can I can I go? Am I after you then, Brian? I went, no, you're before me. You're second, I'm third. I think, no, that's it. I might be in second, whatever it's called. Um, and I said, oh, you can go up. If it's important, go before me. But it wasn't important. He was just being a fucking bully, so I couldn't stand it. So I told them off, and they come over and see me. Went, they just shake it hand, they shook me hand. They went, it's great being here with you, because no one knows no, no one knows what the fuck about that you you straight in. Because I'd go in there, they'd all say, right, the fucking thieving stops. Now I jumped on the table, I was good to just stand there and watch and the governor and all that and the, all, the, all the thing. No more fucking staying out of each other's pads. We're on the same boat. If you need, I'll come and see me. Don't steal off each other and no fucking bullying in here because if there's any bullying, I'll come and bully you. And I run the fucking camp and I did it boxed off perfect. But it was a good time in there, you know, I just had to get on with your fucking jail and just that. I'm the only lad from the North East here. Another lad came from Sunderland, but he, he, he couldn't handle it. His head was done and so he got, he got a back to Durham, we went back to Durham, but I just got on with everyone, I got on with the screws, got on with the, 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 the gym orderlies, got on with everyone, you know, just, just now the people, and I had a bit of a fight with one lad, I got shipped out of there, but yeah, I just, I like to get on with people, I like to mix with people and help people, and yeah, I just got on with people, but yeah, we used to do loads of circuit training and boxing, uh, we used to play football, so I'd play in the goal, they used to call me the cat, because my hands were fast, you know, training with um, boxing and that, so I'd be in goal, and the screws would play sometimes against us, and I'd, uh, it'd be a laugh, and then there'd be so many prisoners up on the screw side, and I'd go to the prison and say, you fucking score against me. You score against me, I'll be coming to see you. I'd wind them up, and they wouldn't score. They'd miss, and screw it. He's, he's deliberately missed that there. And they'd be all arguing over it. I was just laughing over it. There was Eastie, there was Mark from Mary Port then. Uh, there was loads of good lads from there. Big Don from Blackburn, he was then. He was a good lad. There was loads of kids in there, all good lads who we got on with. But yeah, just the stories in the day when you're in prison, prison stories I'm telling people saying tell us what it was like in prison and that, that this that and the other but there was always when we were in, in them days in the 90s and 80s it was always us and the, us and the prisoners us and the screws so now it's fucking like these crackers they're all in that spice and when I went in 2009 every cup was on spice and they were all like right, zombies and fucking get away from me I'm saying you fucking because loads of them have got AIDS as well fucking digging needles so totally different now the jails they used to be great years ago uh, but the Habrick one, really good deal, um, and to get on with people in there was great. But uh, yeah, just another story in a day. Let's stop that there.